Hi everyone, Zach here, and welcome to the final lesson for section 3 of this series on developing a survival game. In this video, video 30, we will be setting up our equipment info and updating our equipment system just a tiny bit. Congratulations on making it to the end of section 3 of this series. This series and this video have been brought to you by my Patreon sponsors. That said, fire up your project, and let's get started. Hi everyone, and welcome back to the editor for the final video of section 3. This should be a very short video, actually, where we only have one thing we really need to do to finish out our system. And then we'll do some tests. So with that said, the one thing we need to do really is just update one button in our settings to make everything work. So currently, if we pick up our head items here, we have the ability to equip it and thus now turn on our flashlight, turn it off to discard it or to unequip it, to re-equip it and to switch it around and not have the flashlight work. To show you that the swap system fully works i'm just going to pick up oh, i'm hitting the wrong key <laughs> saying the f key for the flashlight uh, my inventory is not quite full yet wait one second nope not there yet and i'll get over encumbered doing this Ooh, wait there was three right there there we go uh, i am over encumbered but whatever we can switch the equipment around flashlight now works again and now if i discard that it drops it out in the world you know if there was a little bit of an issue when i discarded it that still showed up in the menu so if i equip that again pick this up there we go and i equip it hit f i discard it it's still showing up there until i close and reopen the menu now i think it spawned outside that wall which is something i'll have to we'll have to worry about later on but it, it, it works in the sense that we're able to get all this to work. Now, the one thing that doesn't work, the one thing we're adding in is once I equip this, well, I can swap it, cancel it. I can't get this info button to work. So to address that, that last little bit, let's go to our widget and our core widget elements, equipment, and our equipment menu. And this is a really simple sort of setup we have to do here. Let's go over to our graph. And in our graph, what we're going to do is we're going to select our components, if it's categorized like I have, and go to our info button, and on click, and we are going to get our reference to our inventory uh, widget. We are going to set equipment panel enabled to false. Likewise, we'll do the same for our... Uh, inventory panel set that to false as well and for now what we're gonna do is put a branch in and this branch is a very simple sort of logic of is this menu open or is it not open so we'll do a branch if it is open and somehow you're able to click again which you shouldn't be able to but if it is then we're gonna close the menu so all we're gonna do is take this inventory widget again and do it again down here actually do it once. We'll copy everything from the top to the bottom. And all we're going to do is display details as hidden. So if this is open, if that's true, then we'll hide the details. Now we now need a, a variable to put into here. So we're going to create a variable real quick called B is active. Oh, sorry. That's why we didn't delete it from the last time. We already had it set up there, isn't it? B is active. Hey, sorry, I forgot we did this previously. So if it is active, then we will then we will make it hidden and set it active to false. If it isn't active when we click it, well then we're going to make it visible. Actually, first we're gonna hide it in case one is already open. Then we're gonna make it visible. So we're gonna just repeat that process again of making it visible and put a few reroutes in. Because we're actually gonna come into this a couple of times. Once we've gone from hidden to visible, 
we are then going to update the details. So then we have our set display details. Plug that into there. Line that up. We're displaying the amount for one, not 10. For our current item. There we go. And then we will set this to be active. Mark that as true. With that done, we're, we're, we're done. Yeah, four minutes in, and two of us probably me rambling about what we're doing in this video. Let's just test this out, make sure it works. Hit play. Take all three pieces of our equipment here, and let's equip. Oh, no, that's the headset. So if we click there, can't click anywhere else. Info, a head mounted display, high power bulb. Um, we hit cancel. We already did that one. Let's hit info this one. Delete me later. All right, so that's working perfectly fine. So we finished out our equipment system. Yeah, if you want to stop there, we're done. Now, as I pointed out, there was a slight error in our system. Let's take a quick look at that. So the spot we need to go to really is our discard in our core actors inventory, BP inventory. And that was when we discarded our equipment. So one thing we need to do is regardless of either condition, we need to trigger this update. So we, we have the same weight decrease and everything else. What we could do to make our, our lives easier is, well, we could just break that and go straight into there. I will clean this up if this works. So let's just compile and test this out. We need to do two tests. So test one, equip the headset and swap it. So equip, equip, make sure F doesn't work anymore. Equip, F works again. All right, now let's pick up everything again. Don't think I need to pick up all these this time because I'll be over encumbered and won't be able to pick them all up easily. Yeah, I think Actually, I think it's already full. Yeah, it is. And let's do the swap again. Make sure nothing goes weird. F does nothing. F works again. And now let's discard. There it is. And it's updated correctly. So that works. Um, what we can do is we can delete this. And we can just simply move that this way to clean this up just a bit. I'm going to do is also decrease the size of this comment. Line that up a bit better. And both those back down. We're going to do is take all of this and we're just going to start moving it downwards. There we go. And we'll select everything along that line. Just quickly realign it. There we go. And then take all of this one more time along with the comment and move it to the right. That way we have everything nicely and neatly organized. There we go. And just cause I want to a little bit of symmetry there. All right, our equipment system is done. Let's do one more test. What we're gonna do is we're going to go to our items, go to our equipment and we're just gonna duplicate our test we'll call this test two let's open this up let's set this to body and we're actually going to give this just the uh, green icon texture real quick let's place this in the world I realize it's the same shape and everything but hey it works out for what we're trying to do all right so let's go ahead and test this out let's hit play let's pick up our three pieces of equipment Don't worry, we'll be taking care of the physics issue with this down the road. Oh God, hey, there we go. It is just a placeholder. So first real quick, hit F, make sure that doesn't do anything. It's doing absolutely nothing. Let's equip the headset, let's equip the a body. There it is in the right slot. Equip weapon one, two, three. Switch the headset out, F doesn't work anymore. Put it back in, it works. All right. 
Let's just make sure that all of this still works. Oh, wow. My. Oh, because I have all the uh, weapons in the correct places. Oh, God. I am. <laughs> I'm crawling. At least it's moving. Kind of. I love how it's shuffling on the right step there. Oh, I did this backwards. I'll probably be editing this out. Oh, no. I don't have. Yeah, let's discard, discard. Actually, you know what? We could, you know what? We could use both systems. Let's equip those back up. Split two. One. I'm gonna eat that one real quick. Split one. Split one. Equip. Equip. Oop. Well, discard. See if keep my character from dying. And let's turn it around that way and just discard uh, like 24 of those. Remember, you can hold the button down too. I keep forgetting that in these videos. There we go. I am now under our max weight. The other problem is the uh, triangles are at weird angles. Interesting. Let's take a look at what's going on those collision boxes. See, that's why we do silly tests like that. Is we find things that we might not have seen elsewhere. And most likely where we need to look for what's going on there is here. Let's turn off the was discarded on this real quick. And we can go back and test this one really simply. We don't have to pick everything up. We just have to pick that up and discard it. Oh, wait, no, we don't. That doesn't work correctly. We do have to pick everything up for this test to actually work. Let's grab one of these real quick because there should be, yeah. We're just going to split this numerous times until we only have one slot left. Actually, we'll take care of that in a moment. We're going to pick this thing up first. We're going to equip it, and then we're going to split this again. However, this might just be a symptom of the fact that we, we have test items where we haven't actually cared about the size of the collision boxes for them. So discard, there we go. We can't pick it up because our inventory is full. Let me just eat that one real quick. There we go. All right. Now, the reason why that uh, stayed up, even though I opened the spot, um, that was due to the fact that I hadn't left the collision area and thus I hadn't re-triggered. That's something we want to consider down the road for checks, but that is a relatively minor thing. One thing I'm gonna do real quick is pause and just double check something in the setup. All right, I just took a quick look for my code and one thing I want to just update is in the inventory system. It's our construction script and our item master. What I want to do is I want to break this just for a moment and I want to just move this down here. We still want all this information. We still actually need all this information. What we're going to do for now is plug that into there. And with all that moved, we're going to take this and take all of this down here. The original was discarded and move it after our adjust offset branch. Now we want this to happen regardless of if it's offset or not. So we're going to put a reroute in and come off this false here. Now this shouldn't interfere with what we're going to do with the wood in section four or the third part of section four. I'm splitting section four into three parts, by the way. Um, but it should make this a little bit smoother. Now we can see the effect of this by hitting play, picking this up, dropping this, and now being able to pick it up again. So that does make life a little bit easier. So if we discard that, there we are. I can pick it back up again without any problems. So that takes us through everything we need to do for this section. Congratulations on making it through section three. I hope you've enjoyed setting up your equipment system. All right, this series and this video have been brought to you by Patreon sponsors like Hanas, Rian, Quad Menson, Connor, One Volt 10, and Galois. 
If you want a copy of this project, consider becoming Patreon sponsor. Patreon sponsors get instant access to all ongoing YouTube projects at upper tiers and other tiers get access once projects are completed. And if you've liked this video, if you've liked this section, if you've liked finishing your equipment system, make sure to hit that like button down below. If you want to be here for section four when we get started on our environment, make sure to hit the subscribe and notify icon. I look forward to seeing you in the next section of this tutorial series, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.